Hey, how's it going, everybody? My name is Magna Martell, and just when you think that social justice is finally slowing down, just when you think that they are finally going to give up, just when you think that it's finally almost over, as more and more people begin to take a stand and tell them, you know what, now, fuck you, I'm tired of your bullshit, someone takes it too far, goes to the extreme, and decides to screw over someone who didn't deserve it in the process. Just when, I, just when you were starting to think that we might finally do away with cancel culture. Games done quick. Band speedrunner who, quote, hates feminism. Now, if you're not familiar with GDQ, Games Done Quick, they are a speedrunning organization. I believe they were on Twitch? I think so. I, it's been a while. They, essentially, they're a bunch of dudes. They're a bunch of people. Not just dudes, women too. But they're a bunch of people who get together and they speed gun run games really fast. Most of the time by abusing glitches and skipping entire sections. Just my personal opinion, I don't think that you can count that if you used a glitch. If you cheated and skipped a necessary part of the game for a, quote, speed run, you didn't really speed run it. That's just my opinion. I know the speed run community disagrees with me. I don't really care for speed running, personally. I me, mean, I like to take my time and enjoy the ride. I like to slowly just slide right up in there and just enjoy a nice, firm push forward. And yes, I am making that as sexual as possible on purpose. <laughs> anyway. But you know, that's just me. Other people enjoy speedrunning. And you know what? If you enjoy it, more power to you. If you want to just plow through that game real fucking fast, if you just want to get in there and jackhammer until you blow your load, go for it. That's all you, brother. You do what you... You do you! So, today we have an article from Games Revolution. Not the most trustworthy site, but they are the ones reporting on it. <clears throat> GDQ speedrunner Luzabelheim? I, I don't know how to enunciate his name. Um, that, that is who it is. There you go. Has been banned after completing his run of Final Fantasy VIII. GDQ made its decision after the organization was criticized for letting the speedrunner take part in the event, due to his support for far-right Spanish political party Vox. Vox, isn't that, uh... I'm thinking... Uh, wait, I'm thinking of Vox News. The people who are a bunch of fucking SJW journos that can't be trusted. But I guess apparently there's another Vox in the world. I didn't know that. Luz Belheim's... I'm just going to call him Luz because it's so much better. Uh, suspension appears to be related to criticisms of his personal politics. Oh my fucking god. In November, he tweeted, In economic policy, Vox is well above the rest, showing support for the far-right party in his country. Now, question. I don't know who this is. I don't know who Vox is. I don't know what their, what their leanings are. But are they really far-right, or are you just calling them that? Because you don't like them. You know well, you know how SJWs love to... Anyone they disagree with is an alt-right Nazi. I, I'm just saying. You need to provide me some information here. Because they don't even have a link to these guys. I'm going to have to Google it myself. Luz has said that he has been suspended from submitting speedruns for GDQ for 18 months. After GDQ viewers criticized his involvement with the charity stream. Th okay. Okay, um, what the fuck? This is ass a titty. It was a charity stream. They were raising money for, I assume, a good thing. I don't know what the charity was. I don't know what this event was. I didn't watch it. I don't watch these people. Um, they criticized his involvement because they don't like what he had to say. He eventually just got canceled. Like, you know that 18 months is going to get extended to permanent when it's over and nobody cares anymore. When, the, when it's already passed by and the 10 minutes is up. Luz has vocally supported Vox, which has been described as anti-feminist, anti-Islam, and anti-authoritarian. I see nothing wrong with any of those things, personally. That's just me. You know? I mean, okay. I, I, I Magna Martell, have grown up around women my entire life. I have spent my entire life surrounded by women. I believe that all people are and should be treated equally as does the vast majority of people, at least in my country. 
dare I say, throughout the majority of the world, with the extreme exceptions of specific countries. Um, and regions. And I'd say that, that it applies for the mass majority of people. I don't have the numbers for you, but it's probably about one in a million. What's wrong with it? Especially in this today's political landscape where feminists don't care about equality, they just want special treatment. Where feminism isn't about being treated equally, it's about being better than men. As for Islam, I have nothing to say about it, but authoritarian, yeah. I don't fucking like authoritarians. I don't like to be told what to do. I'm like Russia. You tell me what to do, I'm going to flip you off and laugh. You can fuck yourself. Only reason I follow YouTube's rules is because I have to remain on the platform. Do you think I want to follow half their rules? Most of their rules are shit. Why do you think I swear up and down like a goddamn sailor? <laughs> it's what I do. It's who I am. I ain't going to change it. You can't tell me to stop. You can't make me. Okay. Luz has also been criticized for his comments on feminism. And here's the real reason that they're punishing him. This is the real reason right here. And gender identity. His Twitter bio includes one quote. I hate feminism. I personally hate modern feminism. I don't hate feminism itself. The idea that people should be treated equal is perfectly acceptable. And in my opinion, it's something we should all work toward. But modern feminism, as I said, is about getting special treatment and being better than men when really you, you, you're equal to men. <laughs> you know, you're not better than... I'm sorry, ladies. Ladies. Womans. I'll be the one to say it. You are not better than men at everything. You cannot do everything a man can do in six-inch heels. Just like a man cannot do everything you do. A man can't do everything you do in his combat boots. <laughs> in his steel toe work boots. There are things women can do that I sure as fuck can't do. I have a friend that she is extremely good with computers and technology and coding. In fact, she is one of the people that is helping me build a better PC because mine's an old piece of crap. And I trust her input because she knows this stuff and I don't. She's better than me at it. But then when her and I play, call, play video games together, it's an undeniable fact that I am slightly better than her at Rainbow Six. She's better than me at PUBG, but I'm better than her at Rainbow. You see what I'm getting at here? The thing about men and women is that there are differences, and you don't have to be better than everybody around you. That's the thing about these social justice types. They don't care. They just want to be better than everyone. It's about superiority. It's not about being equals. <laughs> I mean, everybody knows this. If you watch me, you already know this because you're not an idiot. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, I hate feminine, blah, 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 blah. While well, he also appears to make fun of pronouns, referring to himself as demon binary, lulz and luz. <laughs> I like the way he goes about that. I'm going to be honest. <clears throat> Look, there's only two genders. You're either male or female, scientifically. Physically, biologically, you are one of the two. You can transition into the other, and you'd be a trans, insert gender here, but that's not the point. The point is, you are male or female. There is no non-binary, they-them bullshit. I don't agree with it. I think it's an ideology, not scientific fact, and I don't like it. And I won't support it. In fact, even I make fun of people with pronouns in the bio. When I'm on Twitter, if someone tells me, if someone tries to tell me something, and I see pronouns in the bio, I am immediately skeptical. Because chances are, they're not actually educated on the thing they're talking about. They're just running their mouth because you gotta protect the womans and my, my gender politics. After the suspension, the streamer claimed that he doesn't hate feminists, but he hate, but that the term feminazi is used to describe pseudo-feminist. He's right. A pseudo-feminist is... Modern feminism, you're Anita Sarkeesians, you're Zoe Quinns, you're people who use the fact that they are a woman's to get special treatment. The people who try to say that everything is sexist because they want to be special. They are, they are, well, what's the word I'm looking for here? It doesn't matter. However, Vox has a history of anti-feminism with the party outrage, outrage civil rights groups in 2019 after refusing to sign a declaration that condemned violence against women. Um, 
I, I'm just saying, we we already live in a world, at least I do here in America, where if you are violent towards a woman's, it is automatically a harsher punishment than when you are violent towards a man. I don't blame them for taking a stance on and going, no, it's not a special treatment thing. But you know what? Whatever. I don't know what their politics are. I'm not going to get into that. I don't know. I just think that this ban is bullshit. Here we have a tweet from Lex Lexicana. I don't know who that is. My point being, a lot of people who are really mad at you are coming from the perspective of the U.S. And right there, that's part of the problem. America has had this problem since before I was born. Americans. And as an American, I know it. We seem to think we're in charge of everybody and we can control them. The truth is, no, we don't. We don't have that power. We are not in charge. I hate the term feminism as much as they do. Oh, I did not mean to open that. As much as they do. But maybe tone it down a little. Don't be all inc don't don't be so all inclusive. I don't get it. Oh, don't be so all inclusive. Okay, thank. Sorry, my bad. I'm I'm I'm, I'm fucking stupid today. I'm not awake yet. It's noon. I don't peak till around one o'clock. Okay, so here we have Luzbell's response. Okay, you hate the term because some people use it to refer to normal feminism. I tell you that I don't hate feminism. I hate the term used to call the pseudo feminist. I mentioned tweets ago. Is an, is an in a normal situation? The debate would end here. Eh, hey, whatever. Um. So basically, Games Done Quick banned this dude because he said things that they don't like. Because Games Done Quick is a Twitch organization, and Twitch is one of the, you gots to protect the womans, womans deserve special treatment. I mean, look at what they fucking do. I mean, look at what they fucking do. They protect... The, the fucking woman's all the time. Alinity can throw her cat across the room and get away with it, but another guy drops his pet cat fish at, when it slips through his fingers while showing it to his viewers, and he gets a suspension. A woman's can dance half-naked or wear fucking nipple pasties, and it's perfectly fine, even though it is a direct policy violation of the TOS. But if a man is wearing a tank top, with thin straps, a wife beater, as they're called. I, I, I still can't believe they're called that. It, it cracks me up. <laughs> or takes his shirt off on camera. Up, oh, he's in trouble. So fucking stupid. I can't. I can't take it. I can't handle the stupidity anymore of these people. My brain is physically pulsating from pure frustration and hurt. Because it cannot process the level of acid any going on here. I mean, holy fuck! Oh. But okay, there's the news for you, everybody. I personally, I already don't support GDQ, but if I didn't already, if I did, I would stop right now. If you're one, of, if you're if you're tired of feminism and social justice ruining video games and everything that it touches, like it is with this, don't support GDQ. Gerald, it's ultimately your decision. That's just my suggestion. Get woke, go broke, motherfucker. You got woke, you're going broke. You can go fuck yourself, GDQ. You can go fuck yourself. Thanks for watching, everybody. My name is Magna Martell. Please leave a like if you enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, all that happy horse shit that we go through every time. And I'll see you later.